You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian there and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in. Once again, it's the round table. Straight from New York City. We are rocking it. We are live in the wreck in Hollywood. Yeah, we're not is Corey no, we Lee. straight from New York, but we in LA. We are on our New York shit tonight in LA. We in always on our New York shit. We are, we are, we are, we are. Shit, I we have a, a uh, very special guest. The Billionaires Boys Club is on the table. <laughs> we got money real Billionaires money. Boys Club. We got money bags in the building. That's Except for real right. boss. He Say look rich, too. He said, I smile, smile like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> no, you know what? Larry, this is, this is Larry. Big Neymar. Big Neymar. 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 Big okay. Neymar. Look how rich people dress, like, in, 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 inconspicuously. They want to blend in with everybody else. So you get to that house, you see that big-ass gate. And you see him get on a Harley as soon as he gets out of here. And you're not talking to a TV just to get in his game. All right. All right. Larry Neymar is in the building. And for those of you that do not know who Larry Neymar is, he is the founder, one of the founders, or the founder of the E! Channel. Which was the Manhattan Cable Company. Co-founder of it. Oh, you were the co-founder. So that means you had to split the money two ways. There were two of us. There was two of you. Larry Neymar is in the building. Good enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You started your career off in 1971 as an installer, correct? For Time Incorporated. Well, I was actually, uh, I was starting with Manhattan TV in 71. I was an underground splicer working in the That's back in the ugly jobs days. Those were the ugly The ugly George days, days. Yeah. 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 But he was actually higher than me when I started. Yeah, ugly so. was the boy, because he was the only thing on. That's it. So, yeah. installer, you actually went to people's house and put their cable box in and stuff? Well, that was after I graduated. First, I had me working in the sewers, okay. placing the cables. And then when they realized they knew what I, I was doing, then I would go to people's houses and install it. Yeah. What college did you graduate from? Um, I graduated Brooklyn College. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Brooklyn is a brilliant thing. Can we get three gunshots from Brooklyn? Boom, boom, boom. Lenny got a lighthouse for you right there. All right. Um, okay, so you did go to college, which is which is crazy. Because you went to Brooklyn College. You started as an installer, and then now he owns the college. Now you became a founder of one of the biggest entertainment channels, if not the biggest. I mean, y'all scooped the dirt on everybody. Can you sum up the career? I mean, like, just with the stages, a couple of how you Well, yeah, I, I grew up in Coney Island. Daddy was oh, a truck right. driver. Okay. Um, I was the first one to go to college. I mean, nobody even graduated high school. Okay. But, uh, I don't know, I ended up with a brain somehow. We don't know, <laughs> we don't know quite how. But uh, started out, you know, working in Manhattan Cable, and Cable was pretty new, and I just started thinking that there's got to be a lot of new things you can do with this wire. That right. Just give people good reception, and uh, because I built underground when the big cities started franchising cable, they needed people who knew how to build underground. So I ended up getting hired out here in California to build what was the first 61 channel cable system in the U.S. And I was, you know, 30 years old, and they gave me a piece of paper and 100 million dollars, and wow. I said go build wow. it. And the rest is kind of history. 100 this, million dollars. Right, and this was the Valley Cable Television Company. Yeah, that was, that was but, at Valley Cable, which is really where I got the idea of the E. But what made them trust you with that point, like to, that they you knew they knew you could pull this off? Um, I I was really in charge of most of the construction in Manhattan, okay. and there was only one guy who ever built wow. an underground system right. in the country. So wow, they had no choice. Right. Wow. So how does you know how does something like that happen that you actually started a network, like an actual television network? Um. Well, it, it's a funny story, you know, because when I, I was, came out here to work for this company, and it was a Canadian company, and they decided to sell and go back to Canada. And right. I didn't move from New York to L.A. to go live in Canada. That, was, that would not make no sense, Mr. Name. Stuff. But one of the things, right. you know, we, we built that company. It was the first 61 channel ever built. And at that time, you know, you had, you know, just one or two real channels up there, HBO and right. CNN. And, um, so I had noticed that all my neighbors were, they always go to these movie premieres and stuff. Right. So I said, how do you get it? I said, well, you got to be in the business. So I wrote to all the studios. I said, you know, send me those passes to all those movie things. And they said, well, what are you going to do for us? I said, well, send me the movie trailers. I'll put them on TV. And I hired someone for like $3 an hour. 
and we edited them together. And we started doing research. Wow. You know, you said to people, what's your favorite channel? They said, oh, I love MTV, I love CNN, and I love that trailer channel. Right. Well, after a while, I said, wait a second, I can move to Toronto and freeze my ass off, or I can like see if I can make something out of that trailer channel. You know, I said I get the best two minutes for And all the young movies. beauty, so, all the young beauties in Hollywood. So uh, he entertained was the, yeah. the yeah. trailer yeah. channel. That was we started it. out, yeah, getting you know, like MTV got music videos. Right. I figured we'd get the trailers and I found four good That's hosts. Crazy. But it, it was like three and a half years before anybody would give us any money. Alan and I went around and it was a good idea but you know you're not Ted Turner, you're not Rupert Murdoch. Right. You know, so you got that hundred million check. No, no, oh. that was to build Valley Cable, and that literally went into the ground. But E, you know, we found this three and a half years. We couldn't find a dime. Then Alan and I snuck into first class on a plane, right. and uh, sitting next to this guy, and he said, "What's that thing you work? You know, you're reading. You know, we had the business plan." And he said, "Oh, I know somebody will give you that money," right. and um, sent us to an investment banker in New York. We said, well, I'm only allowed to sign for two and a half million dollars. And we said, but it costs 50 million to start a TV network. And he said, well, I'm only allowed to sign for two and a half. And we said, get a fine, give us it. And wow. you made it happen. Yeah. There you go, for two and a half million. And what is E worth today, probably? What about 50 billion? It's worth about almost four billion now. Wow. wow. We're going to get back. No, you stay sticking around right. a little bit, right? Yeah, I'll be here. Cool. Because he has a pay lot of bills. We are the legendary round table. I mean, you are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in.